We're about to cover Automation in Logic Pro X. Automation in Logic is actually very simple. But the first thing we want to do to be able to access automation is go to our automation view or click the A key on your keyboard. The automation view selector is right here, or again we can hit A. Now what automation does is it allows us to control different parameters of our channel strips as they go in time. We have different modes that allow us to actually manually adjust a control and it'll actually record it. Or what we can do is we can hop into the actual track, select a parameter like volume, and then click and create different curves. So for example, if I want this large peak over here to become quieter, I can now add a curve here, turn it down, and basically once I play back this track in the timeline, it will actually make this change physically. So let's go ahead and listen back to this section of the vocal soloed and you're going to actually see the fader and the inspector go down in time with the automation curve. I'm inside and I'm feeling like I'm gonna fall. If this is a dream then I don't want to wake. Now obviously it came down a little too drastically, so we could bring this up, and then also it didn't come back quick enough, so we can actually adjust the curve by just adjusting the little key points here. Zoom in even further. We can get precisely on this loud section without coming down too drastically and without cutting off the before and after. Let's try it again. And inside, and I'm feeling like I'm gonna fall. Now one of the great benefits in Logic is that pretty much everything you see is automatable. And this includes any plugins that you see. Let's try creating a new software instrument track by going up here and clicking the plus button, selecting software instrument, keeping it an empty channel strip. Now I'm gonna open up a third party plugin here just to demonstrate the amount of controls that you can uh, automate inside of Logic. So with instrument one selected, I'm going to choose a plugin by Native Instruments called Massive, which is a synthesizer. Now, obviously, you can see that Massive has quite a few different parameters in it. Every single one of these is actually automatable, okay? And it can be controlled by automation. So let's go back down. We're going to click A on our keyboard into automation mode. And if we go under where it says volume right now, we can select anything else that we want to automate. We can go to Massive, and you will now see that every single control inside of Massive is actually able to be automated. So if I wanted to automate a filter cutoff, I could simply go to the filter, select its cutoff, and I can draw whatever curve I need to at any point in time throughout Logic. Hi, you've been here with me, John, an instructor at the SAE Institute, and we just covered using automation in Logic Pro X. For more tutorials like this, please go to usa.sae.edu.